Thank you. 
to see, but our own faults are difficult to recognize. If one sees that he has a fault, he must realize that the fault must be very grave indeed for him to recognize it himself. Thus, he must take steps to correct his fault, because it is difficult for us to see many of our faults. We should listen to the advice of others. Ren Yo Shonin, quote from our new service book, translation from Vancouver Buddhist Temple. Namo Amida Buts, Namo Amida Buts, Namo Amida Buts, Namanda, Namanda, Namanda. Good morning. Thank you very much for joining Hawaii Bits in Zoom Sunday service. How are you all today? I'm doing great and thank you. In Jodo Shinshu, we often learn and heard that we are lost. When you hear that we are lost, or maybe the word delusion is oftentimes used for explaining such status, or when we hear that we are unreliable, what do you think? Or how do you feel when you heard them? Recently, 
I experienced a situation that really taught me, oh, this may be the meaning of the lost too in Jodo Shinshu understanding. We can experience the feeling of lost by many things from small to big incidents. This is a relatively small incident, but it tells me who I am and being lost in delusion. A couple of days ago, I was talking with my sister on the phone about our character or personality. I told my sister that I thought I'm a relatively flexible person and I am always open for the discussion. But my sister, as soon as she heard it, she laughed and laughed and she said to me, Sorry, Yuika, I should say you are the opposite. You are so stubborn and once you decide what is right, you can't be flexible and just do whatever you like. I was very shocked to hear what she told me. That was not what I thought I was. It means I am very stubborn, inflexible, and self-centered person more than I thought I am. I always, always thought my 93 years old grandma was very stubborn and I said, oh, can't be helped. She's so stubborn. But if I'm stubborn too, it means a stubborn person laughing at and pointing finger to other stubborn person. Or maybe my grandma, she may not be the stubborn person. And then am I only one who is stubborn? So my sister gave me a reason why. Last year, November, I went back to Japan to give my sister for a little break time. My sister takes care of her daughter, my mother, and my grandmother, so she is overwhelmed and needed some help. So I asked Reverend Hagio for permission to go home, and Reverend Hagio kindly encouraged me to go home as soon as possible to take care of my family. So I was able to go home for about 18 days. It was just before the Omicron broke out. I was strongly determined to help my sister and my family while I was there in Japan. And I decided not to do anything other than what I was asked to do so because I thought that was what my sister needed. I arrived at Japan and I reached my home. My family and my sister were very happy to meet me and then I was so ready to work. Once I went into my home, I realized that kitchen was not clean. Also, there were several huge garbage were piled up at the corner of the kitchen. I was a bit shocked when I saw them, but I thought I could help to clean up the kitchen, so I started to clean the kitchen as soon as I returned to my home. And you already maybe notice without being asked. Nobody asked me to clean the kitchen. What my sister wanted me to do was different things. She prepared another plan for me to help her, and that was the only reason I was asked to come back home. But I already started my plan instead of hers. During my quarantine at my home, I ended up doing a lot of non-requested cleaning I wanted to do, and did little things what my sister expected me to do. One day, I was sitting on the floor and cleaning the drawer, which were hardly used. My sister came to me and said, Yuika, with her low voice, and it continued, Yuika, you are not asked to do it. You are not helping me. 
Her voice was scary, but at the same time, I felt so bad. After I hung up the phone, I was thinking about the conversation with her. When I was cleaning, I never thought I was causing my family and my sister troubles. But from my sister's side, I was the person who caused the troubles. I was not helpful at all, but just causing more problems for her. Then I thought, wait a minute, Yuika. I was really lost, wasn't I? I didn't know what I was doing. I thought I was doing good, but just did whatever I wanted to do, and it caused the... Then I thought, wait a minute, Yuika. I was really lost, wasn't I? I didn't know what I was doing. I thought I was doing good, but I just did whatever I wanted to do and caused the pain to others. As Ren Yoshonin's words, the faults of others are easy to see, but our own faults are difficult to recognize if one sees that he has a fault, he must realize that the fault must be very grave indeed for him to recognize it himself. Thus, he must take steps to correct his fault. Because it is difficult for us to see many of our faults, we should listen to the advice of others. We have our bias, and the bias can be eliminated by our power or ourselves because that is who we are. Including the bias itself, consisting us, and the sometime we are not able to realize until someone said to us. But oftentimes, we are not happy if someone tell directly to us, and of course, I wasn't happy when my sister pointed out that I am self-centered, stubborn person, but can't be helped. I didn't see it by myself, but it must be obvious from others. I couldn't figure out myself if I were self-centered or stubborn person because I only saw myself with my bias. This feeling of difficulty of accepting my sister's words tells me that I am stubborn and lost. When I ask Amida Buddha if I am stubborn, Amida always said to me, Yuika, yes, you are. But you will be never abundant. But uh, yes, you are. That is how I appreciate the teaching daily. It may be small thing, but it is everywhere, happening all the times. It is always the opportunity to encounter Amida Buddha. We can always ask Amida Buddha. We can always talk with Amida Buddha and we can always reflect ourselves and appreciate all being embraced. Sometimes we see or hear what we don't want to see or hear, but that is a great practice for us. Thank you very much for listening. As a conclusion, let us place our hands together in Gassho and recite the name of the Buddha. Namo Amida Buddha. Namo Amida Buddha. Namo Amida Buddha. Namanda, Namanda, Namanda. Namanda, Namanda, Namanda. Thank you very much. 
for listening.